can you name, Lewis, and you're a student of history, can you tell me one war in modern history where, where civilians haven't been caught up in the crossfire? No, but I can't. Are you not holding, but I, I can't you think, not holding Israel to a standard that no one else has held to? No, I'm holding you to a standard that is that of a modern state, democratic state, and that is better than Hamas and better than others who would attack, seek to attack Israel. And I can't think, I have to say, of of a war in which 85% of people, 85% of a whole population have been displaced. I can't think of a war where over 100 journalists have been killed in only three months. I can't think of a war no, no. other than, I can't think of a war, and that's from the American Committee to Protect Journalists figures, by the way. They're not my figures, and I can't think Lewis, of a war. Lewis, but let's be clear. Let's be clear. If you talk about the journalists, let's first of all state the obvious fact that Israel is the only country in the region that protects and defends the freedom of the press. We're the only country that has a press that can criticize the government. Hamas, of course, allows no free press whatsoever. So to, to, to con predict or to, to portray Israel as some enemy of the free press is, is frankly ridiculous, especially when you compare to who we're fighting against. Well, but, but to be clear, on the first day of this war, on October 7th, when Hamas invaded our country with its army of terror and, and, of course, and randomly appalling. killed people, they killed journalists. Of course, they're now, appalling. But did they you kill them because they were journalists? They didn't kill them because they were journalists. They killed them because they were Israelis. They could have been bakers. They could have been farmers. They could have been doctors. Hamas killed everyone indiscriminately. And that was completely appalling, and I would be the first one Correct. to say it. Nonetheless, we're talking about what has happened since, and of course... But to say that you Israel is deliberately high... targeting if Hamas I... propaganda, would you have you believe Israel, Israel deliberately targets I didn't journalists? Mention... That's just not true. I didn't That's mention... just not true. I didn't suggest that you would deliberately targeting, targeting them. But what I am saying is that it is a mark of just how severe and how profound the situation in Gaza is that so many journalists have been killed in such a short period. More journalists have been killed in three months of Israel's war on Gaza than in all of World War II or the Vietnam War. In 2022, which is when the invasion happened, 15 journalists and media workers were killed in Ukraine. In the whole of 2022, over 100 have died in three months. That is, I mean, the journalists are just a small part of all of this, but that is a sign of just how profound and totalizing Israel's action against the civilian population of Gaza no, no. has been. It's a, a Israel's operation is against the Hamas military machine. Yes, it's not but, against the civilians. But the result, whether you say that it is against them or otherwise, the result is the same. The result no, has been to, the same. You're, you're, no, but you're, you're making a, a, sorry, a logical fallacy here. You're saying all the civilian deaths in Gaza are on Israel's hands. That's 100% not true. Uh, the, the well, they wouldn't be dead if it wasn't for Israeli rockets. No, they wouldn't be dead if Hamas hadn't had a deliberate policy, and not just Israel says so, the EU says so, the UK says so, the US says so, others say so, of deliberately using Gazan civilians as a human shield for its military machine. 